Alright people, sorry about the fan noise, I might be able to kind of tilt it a little bit more, but I thought I'd do a few quick pickups, this won't be a very long pickups vid, but I might talk about a few things in this vid, so, um, let's get right into it. First off, um, I know this is, a uh, something I've shown a lot on my channel, I've had this, well it's been in my family for like over half a decade at least, so. You know, this is not really a new thing on my channel either. It's been in a lot of bits just in the background. I've talked about like in my Q&A bit, I talked about it, but iPod Classic. This is the um, late 2009 version of the Classic, 160 gig, the thin 160 gig. Um, it's the, the black one, the black and gray. Because the original uh, Classics, the black, it was a lot darker on the front plate, so. I kind of like this look better, more like a gunmetal look, but, yep, there's that, like I said, I got a bunch of stuff on here, I have all of my music on here, I have the whole library now, guys, I figured out how to do it, and I have everything on here, got a bunch of video stuff, just a bunch of stuff, this is a great iPod, apparently this one was made in 2012, but like the manufacturer date is 2012, from what I've found anyway, um, and I can't sync it with my uh, actual iTunes, I have to copy the folders, and then it will let me in. Here's that pickup. Um, next pickups, this is Xbox 360 stuff. Got some games and accessories, and I want to talk about one here. Uh, first off, in terms of games, I got Mirror's Edge. This is a really cool game. I've been playing through this. Um, I don't know exactly how far I am into the game right now. Um, I don't even know what level I'm on, but I'm I've been playing for a little bit. Um, this is a really fun game, though. It's not, like I said, it's not very long, and there's not a whole lot of content. If you can find it for cheap, go pick it up. The graphics in this game, like I said, the graphics in this game are excellent for a 2008 360 title. I mean, it looks like something that came out today. It's a very colorful and bright and vivid game. Um, that's one of the reasons I like it so much, just the aesthetic of the game is excellent. So, pick this one up if you can find it. It's not very expensive. Um, now this is one that is so this is an interesting pickup here guys this is actually very interesting and i've been wanting this for quite some time if you remember from back in my when i first started to collect 360 back in like 2015-16 this is a game that i really wanted to get um on disc and now i actually have it so skate three yep <laughs> skate three so but the thing about the Skate 3 copy, man, is um, there's no manual whatsoever, but the label is printed out. The person made a custom label. This game, you know, the story behind this actually, it deals with YouTube. Um, let's see if I can't make that a bit better. Uh, it deals with YouTube, actually, the story behind why this game is so hard to track down with this label on it. Um, let me go grab something real quick. Yeah. <laughs> like Left 4 Dead, this is um, Game of the Year Edition Platinum Hits. I mean, you can see the difference in the top part of the label there. Um, definitely can see the difference. And this version of this game came with this label later on, too. So, um, But this version is really hard to find because they only printed a limited number of copies of this game. But then in... Um, it was early 2014, uh, PewDiePie and a few other people did a video, did video like Let's Plays of Skate 3, and so uh, the whoever made the game asked for there to be more copies printed, so they printed a bunch of copies with this label, and they flooded the market, so now these ones are scarce. They're not expensive, just scarce. Actually, no, I think that sealed copies, I saw a sealed copy that's going for over a hundred freaking dollars, but yeah, it's a custom label, I don't know if it really shows on this video. That's the custom label, like here's the real one, because the camera is so low quality, just the, the coloring is a bit off. It's high quality paper, it's just that it's not the exact right tint. Um, you can definitely tell when they look when you look at two of them side by side, but it's not terrible. Um, and then the disc is a uh, platinum hits, and you can see, like I said, that, so. Alright, at least
least I have the game and it works and everything and the, it is cool just in my collection it looks nice so there's that and now this one uh, has a lot of context so I'll go grab another old school pickup for you guys uh, Xbox Live Arcade compilation disc everybody knows and, oh even better throw them all in here this is a pretty wild video I'm just showing old shit now and here's another one I showed this in the Q&A though Xbox Live Arcade Unplugged um, and the manual that got you can clearly see that's not right I just thought that was funny um, but I wanted to bring this up because some of the stuff on it and also this Xbox Live Arcade compilation disc which like I said it has the Blades dashboard on it which is cool um, but in terms of games on this one you get demos for Feeding Frenzy and Zuma um, bunch of other games too and then on here on this one you get the full game it is the full game but it's Bejeweled 2 which I don't know I think that one's Bejeweled um, and that's Bejeweled on the back so. yeah <laughs> um, so there you go that I got these over three years ago back in 2016 but this has some of the stuff from those games this is really cool I tried to get this back in the day, but the value was actually, it was fairly expensive, so I just never got it. Got PopCap Arcade Volume 1. No manual, just the disc and the art. And this has on it, Bejeweled 2, full game, Astro Pop, which is not a game that I've played. Um, I might have to try that out. Feeding Frenzy, with the full game, not a demo, and this is the big one. This is the big one, guys. It has Zuma. Full game, not a demo. The full game of Zuma is on here. And that's why I wanted it. Is so that way I can play it on my offline 360. And I'm going to be doing a video on Zuma because I got some cool stuff on Zuma. I'll just say that. I got some cool stuff on Zuma. If you have played the game at, at, like, at a decent level even, you'll know what I'm talking about when I say I got cool stuff on Zuma. Um, and then one other pickup I wanted to kind of show, uh, just as a follow-up in like a help needed kind of situation, and just whatever you want to call it really. Um, here I got myself Xbox 360 HD DVD drive. Now this is an extremely irrelevant piece of technology. I don't even have, is it funny, I don't even have HD DVDs, man. Um, I got this over three years ago too. Um, Oh, I forgot to show a pickup. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> oh, everybody knows I have this, though. You see it all the time in my vids. I'll come back to this. This is a new pickup. I can't believe I forgot this thing. Talking about 360 accessories, and I got all the accessories they made for the thing, man. I got the uh, headset. I got the chat pad, the, vi the live vision camera, the hard drive transfer kit, plan charge. I got all of it. But there was one item, I don't have the racing wheel, but I'm not going to get that, it's too expensive. But there was one that I was missing. Oh, in the wireless headset, I might get that too. I already have a headset, so I really don't need it. Oh, and I have, I'm going at like rapid fire, freaking speed, man. I also have the wireless adapter. I made a video on my 360 collection that's going to go up soon. Um, it won't feature the things that I'm about to show, though. Uh, I don't think it'll feature this. It might feature Skate 3 and uh, Mirror's Edge, but I know it won't feature the arcade, and it won't feature this I'm going to show. I am extremely hyper. <laughs> uh, I got myself the Universal Media Remote. And this is actually why I brought this out. <laughs> uh, this is the Media Remote, and I actually was able to successfully program it. My TV is not plugged in right now, but I can turn on... Uh, you can see it lights up green. That's really cool. Um, but I programmed this so now it works with my TV so I can adjust the volume on the TV and I can turn it on and off uh, and do the channel stuff from the remote here. I Of course, I still have the remote that came with my TV, but it is kind of cool to have another one just in case I ever lose that one or the batteries die or something. Um, yeah, and since I can also eject the disc from there, it's kind of nice and I can bring up the guide and control it. So, Yep, 
It is a really cool remote, actually. It's pretty big, though. I mean, I can go get my TV remote to compare. You know, I keep on going over to get a bunch of stuff. Um, this is a newer Samsung remote. So you can definitely see the size. This one's a lot taller, and it's a lot thicker, too. They made a smaller version of this that was black for, like, the newer Gen 360s that I really don't have or care for. But, um... Yeah, it is a pretty big remote, but it is nice, and of course it matches with the uh, aesthetic of the 360. But the thing is, there's two versions of this white one here. Um, there's one version of this that you could buy independently at first, where uh, all this stuff, the channel selector, that was cut off, and you could not sync it with the TV. So it was just this top half of the remote. This version... Uh, I keep on showing it on the wrong side. <laughs> this version is... Um, Bunk my back on the dang fan. So, uh, what the hell is wrong with me, man? <laughs> and I bumped my head on the neck fan. Uh, where's my train of thought, guys? Where is it? Where is it? Um, but this version of the remote, <sighs> I'm not restarting the video. No way. But this version of the remote is what came with this. It was bundled with this only at first. I do believe that they started to sell this individually later on and they replaced that version of it, but at first, this remote only came with the drive. And this drive is really nice, actually. It's a really good accessory. Um, and it has the aesthetic of an Xbox 360, the original systems, has the chrome disc tray, has the gray and white aesthetic that I like. Um, and what's really cool about this is it does take up a USB port. It has a little uh, micro USB or mini USB, whatever that is, to a full size. And that goes into the console. But they give you two extra ports. So you actually get a port extra with this. And it also has the clamps on the back so you can put the wireless adapter on it if you have that, which is actually really cool. Uh, but my problem is I don't have the power supply anymore. I don't have the power supply for this thing. And I tried and tried, I mean like, um, I guess it isn't over here. I tried to use my speaker plug, I tried to use a bunch of different power bricks like GameCube and whatnot and all that stuff. It's not, it doesn't work. Um, I could not find any sort of adapters that would fit this. It, I looked it up, it's a proprietary adapter. I'm finding some online, but the reviews of them are saying that it doesn't actually work and it's the wrong thing. So I'm kind of wary. Like, part of me just thought buy a new unit just for the um, for the power supply, but it's like, wouldn't that be a waste to buy something I already have just for the freaking power supply? Just killed an ant. Well, um, I mean, though, it's fairly cheap. It's not too expensive to buy a new one of these, but I just, like I say, I'm holding one in my hand right now, so. But yeah, I'd like to get 300. I, I have 300 on DVD, actually, but I haven't watched it. I'd love to watch it on HD DVD, though. I mean, like, that's the most 2007, 2008 thing you can do, man, is watch 300 on an HD DVD drive for the 360 plugged into a 360 Elite <laughs> on a flat screen. Um... Yeah, there you go. So if I ever do get that, though, I will show that in a pickup spit as well. I've been going for way too dang long, man. Uh, but like I said, I have a 360 collection video that will be out within the next few days, I would say. I don't know exactly when that will be out, but soon enough. So catch you guys later. Sorry for my uh, lack of a train of thought in this video.